Ole turanga na toke naua. Ole turanga na tu sebeto. Ole turanga na tu bunda. Ole turanga na tu nangando. Nang ole turanga na toke sauweke. Honorable cabinet, uh, cabinet ministers, Honorable Senator Z. Uh, Zelda, the Australian uh, Minister for International Development in the Pacific, the uh, Secretary of the Australian Department of Defence, Greg uh, Moriarty, the Australian High Commissioner to Fiji, His Excellency John Fix, Your Excellencies, members of the diplomatic corps, heads of uh, Fiji's disciplined forces, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Bulabinaka, and a very good morning to you all. Your Excellencies, what a day this is for Fiji, for the people and communities that we protect from uh, disasters at home and in the Pacific, and for the cause of peace that we defend around the world. We can see that the Backrock Peacekeeping and Humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Relief Camp is a world-class hub for Fiji security partnerships. But this camp is more than its state-of-the-art facilities. It is, of course, a testament to the very best of our national character. Indeed, it is uh, a statement of what Fijians are prepared to give the world. We are peaceful people. More importantly, we are people willing to extend our peace-loving nature whenever we are called upon to do so. Not out of uh, self-interest or some uh, misplaced sense of uh, adventurism, but because it is morally right. That is why we stand ever ready to aid our fellow citizens in the wake of devastating floods and cyclones. That is why we support our Pacific family across the region in their times of need, both as soldiers and as common citizens. And that is why there is no part of the world our peacekeepers are not prepared to go to to guide communities on the difficult path from conflict to peace. In the Sinai, in the Golan Heights, and in Syria, in Timor-Leste, in Lebanon, in Iraq, in Southern, uh, South Sudan, our peacekeepers have protected and mended communities torn by conflict. They have fought and bled for the sake of strangers, children, women, and men, virtually all of whom have never been to Fiji, most of whom had never met a Fijian before, but none of whom will forget what Fijians have sacrificed for their safety. And we do not forget them either, especially not those we have lost. They live with us in our hearts, and today I dedicate this facility to them, their families and loved ones, and to all the innocents they protected. To our friends, the government and the people of Australia, I offer the heartful thanks of the Fijian people. The partnership at Black Rock takes our shared commitment to a peaceful and open world to a new level entirely. Our governments have embarked on this journey together because we recognize the need for cooperation to confront these century's challenges. There will be more human conflicts in the years ahead that will require our joint action. Runaway climate change will inflict more famines and droughts across the world that make societies and regions less stable and more prone to violent conflict. Through the training they receive at this world-class facility, our brave women and men will be ready to address these rapidly evolving threats to security. Where peacekeeping operations are required, we will go. And we will go better prepared than ever before to contend with the complexity of cyber warfare the ferocity of traditional conflict, and the worsening wrath of nature. We will ensure that our forces are professionally equipped to identify and address the extreme vulnerabilities that women and men 
and children face across all these theaters of conflict. And we will see more women empowered as soldiers and as leaders in this service to humanity. This is our commitment to our men and women in uniform. And this is our commitment to the United Nations. And we will use our voice to speak for peace with clarity and purpose. At this uh, milestone event, milestone uh, moment for Fijian peacekeeping, I reaffirm Fiji's opposition to Russia's war on Ukraine. The Pacific was united in the condemning the invasion at the floor of the UN General Assembly. We remain absolute in our call to end the conflict and a return to diplomacy. BlackRock not only honors our 42-year peacekeeping legacy, it hones the future mission of the RFMF. Most of all, it will ensure that our troops are equipped and trained to respond to the multifaceted threats produced by the most alarming war we have ever faced, the climate war that is at our shores and that will only intensify in this century. I do not need to remind a single soldier here that we face this relentless war in our communities and uh, at our shorelines every day. It is being fought in Bua, in Kandavu, in Watulele, and in Ngau. It is being fought in Lemi, in Nandi, in Ba, in Lotoka. It is being fought in every home, in every community, at every meter of shoreline in Fiji and the Pacific. And no force in the world has contended with more of these climate disasters than the RFMF. 14 cyclones have struck Fiji since 2016. More than 40 of our communities are at risk of being erased by the rising seas. The banks of our 45 rivers are breaking on a near monthly basis under the strain of persistently record-breaking rains. In every disaster of every nature, it is you that Fiji calls upon first. You are the world's most battle-tested veterans in the climate war upon us. The climate war will not be one with guns. They will not be one with guns and ammo and artillery. They will be one with seawalls, resilient infrastructure, and cutting edge technology. It will be one with knowledge, knowledge of building practices, disaster management, and mitigative measures we can take to cushion the blows of storms and other severe weather. It will be won through facilities such as BlackRock, where we will elevate training, preparedness, and response capabilities for both traditional conflict and humanitarian disasters to a world-leading level. The RFMF's engineering corps have built homes, schools, medical facilities, and other infrastructure. There is more it can do and indeed must do. Your force is uh, reconfiguring its uh, capacity around engineering and humanitarian and disaster response skill sets to make it the premier climate response force in the world. From this uh, operational hub and with the training this camp provides, your troops will belong in every disaster-related de deployment in the region. Whether they are superstorms in Vanuatu, bushfires or floods in Australia, volcanic eruptions in Tonga, or social upheavals in Solomon Islands and Bougainville, you are who the Pacific calls upon. You are called upon because no matter how trying the circumstances, our neighbors know that you will not fail them. They trust you will stay with them through to the other side. Through the partnerships that define this project, you will work intimately with our Australian counterparts and with other partners on a day-to-day -day basis. We will exist, uh, sorry, we will enlist expertise from our development partners with New Zealand and the US, especially as opportunities arise. We look forward to building broader partnerships, including among Pacific Island countries. At this facility, we hope to train security forces from our region 
from Tonga to Solomon Islands included, to join us in building and expanding capabilities. The members of our security forces here today have served across Fiji. You have served in Australia. Your fellow troops are serving together in the Solomon Islands and Tonga today. We cannot predict what future disasters await us, but we know they will come. And through the training you gain at Black Rock, we know that Fiji will be ready. And while the pride of uh, opening these facilities felt across the Pacific, no one should be more prouder than those who have built Fiji's peacekeeping legacy through their service in the world's conflict-ridden regions. Those who are retired and those who look down upon us from above. We salute them all today. To Fijian men and women serving in Iraq, South Sudan, Golan, the Golan and uh, Sinai, we miss you and thank you for your courage and pray for God's grace as you serve the cause of peace. Blessed are our peacemakers. To Fijians across the country, today we strengthen our solemn commitment to your safety. I hope that the values of the soldiers that train here inspire our young to pursue the service of humanity in uh, whatever pursuit they choose, particularly our young women and girls who belong at the heart of this effort as much as anyone. Vinakapakalevu, and I thank you. Yeah.